going to be talking about subtracting three-digit numbers. This is 11.7. We can subtract three-digit numbers by using a work mat that shows the place values and models to help us. So we're going to subtract 425 minus 136. And this H means hundreds, the T means tens, and the O means ones. We can keep them in the correct column. We even have a box for regrouping, see? So 425, we have four hundreds, we have two tens, and we have five ones, don't we? We need to take away 136. Looking at this, what we need to do is take six from the five, but we can't. The five isn't big enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to regroup the two as a 1. We're going to give that 10 to the 1's place. So this is not a 5 anymore. It's a 15. 15 take away 6 is 9. Now we have 1 and we need to take 3 away. But we can't do that. So we regroup this to be a 3 and we give it to the 10's place. Now we have 11 tens, and we need to take 3 away. That's an 8. 8, 9, 10, 11. See? 8 plus 3 is 11. We can do the opposite. We can do addition to check our subtraction. 3 minus 1 is a 2, so we should have 289. So let's see how this works. We had 425 here, and we need to take away... Not, uh, six ones, right? But we can't take away six ones because there's only five ones there. So what we can do is we can break this ten up into ones and regroup it to be ones. See? Now we can take six of them away. One, two, three, four, five, six. We take six of them away, and how many ones are left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just like we got here, we have nine ones. Now it says that we had to take we have to take away three tens. But I only see one ten here. So what we can do is we can move our ones over and out of the way a little bit. We only have one ten here. We can split this hundred up as ten tens. See? And regroup it to the tens place. Now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 tens. Just like we got up here. We have 11 tens. Now we can take 3 away. We can take away 1, 2, 3, and we're left with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 tens. 8 tens and nine ones, just like we got when we did the math. Now it says we need to take away a 100. Well, if I take away a 100, that's one of these big squares, what are we going to be left with? Two hundreds, see? Eight tens and nine ones, just like we got there, see? So if you need to use models, that's okay. And you can use a work mat like this that has little boxes for your regrouping, all right? So let's see if we can subtract these. We have 761 and we need to take away 429. We have 1 and we need to take away 9. Well, we can't because the 9 is so big. So let's regroup from the tens place. We'll turn this into a 5. And we're going to give the 10 to the ones place. So now instead of 1, we have 11 because 10 plus 1 is 11, isn't it? 11 minus 9 is a 2, right? 5 minus 2 is a 3. And 7 minus 4 is a 3. See? So we had to regroup two times, didn't we? But that's okay. We can do that. We can regroup many, many times if we have to in a math problem. Let's try this one. We have 574, and we need to subtract 228. So in the ones place, we have a 4, and we need to take away an 8, and we can't because the 8's so big. So we're going to turn this into a 6 and regroup 
our four ones into 14 ones, because we gave that 10 to the ones place. 14 take away 8 is, do you know? If you said 6, you're right. 6 take away 2 is 4, and 5 take away 2 is 3. We have 346. All right, let's try this one. We have 604, and we need to subtract 152. We have 4, take away 2. Well, we can do that. We don't need to regroup. That's a 2, isn't it? We have 0, take away 5. Oh, we need to regroup because that 0 is too small. This becomes a 5. We give that to the tens place. 10 tens make 100, so we have 10 tens now. 10, take away 5 is 5. And 5 take away 1 is 4. We have 452. All right, let's try it again. We're going to get lots of practice. We have 450, and we need to subtract 137. We can't have 0 and take 7 away. So we're going to regroup. This is going to become a 4, and we're going to give that 10 to the 1's place. Now we have 10 take away 7. We could do that. That's a 3. We have 4 take away 3 for the tens place, that's a 1. And we have 4 take away 1, that's a 3. We have 313. Okay, let's try it again. This one's going to be a little bit harder because we're going to have to regroup twice. We have 306 minus 179. We have a 6 and we need to take 9 away. And we can't do that. The 9's too big. And we can't regroup from the tens place because it's a 0. So now we have to go way over to here. That becomes a 2. It's 1 less. And instead of 0 tens, now we have 10 tens because 10 tens make 100, right? Now the 1's place can be regrouped. And the 10's place can be regrouped because it has enough, doesn't it? So this 10 is going to become a 9, and this 6 is going to become a 16. We're going to give that Take one of the tens from here and give it to the ones place. 16 minus 9 is, do you know? That would be a 7. 9 minus 7 is a 2. And 2 minus 1 is 1. See? So if there's a 0 in the tens place and you still need to regroup, you just go to the hundreds place and regroup a couple times, see? We regrouped a lot, didn't we? But that's okay. Let's try it again. We have 805 minus 388. We have a 5 and we can't take away 8 and there's 0 tens so we can't regroup from the tens place. We're going to have to keep going and go to the hundreds place. That's going to become a 7. So now instead of zero tens, we have ten tens, because ten tens make one hundred. That's what we regrouped from the hundreds place. We took one of the hundreds away and gave it to the tens as ten tens, right? Now we can regroup and give some to the ones place. So the ten is going to become a nine, and we're going to give it to the ones place. So instead of five ones, we have fifteen ones. Fifteen take away eight is, do you know? It would be a 7. 9, take away 8. That's an easy one, isn't it? It's a 1. And 7, take away 3, is a, a 4. We have 417. Okay? So we had to regroup a couple times. All right? It's no different than regrouping once. You're just doing it again. Okay? It's not harder. It just takes a little longer. Okay? Let's try some problem solving. It says, which two numbers will make each sum or difference? We have 105, 246, 218, and 134. We need to find the difference of 112. That means, because difference is the answer in subtraction, that means that the answer is 112, and because it's a difference, we know it's going to be a subtraction problem. So we need to find which two of these numbers are going to equal 112 when you subtract one from the other? And the only way to do it 
is to try different combinations. See little plus signs telling us, just try different combinations. So we can try 246 minus 105. We could try that. 246 minus 105. 6 minus 5 is a 1. 4 minus 0 is 4. 2 minus 1 is 1. Well, that's 141. That's not 112, so that's not the right combination. Let's try 246 minus 218. Let's try this one minus this one. We have 6, and we need to take away 8, and we can't. So we regroup. That becomes a 3. That becomes a 16, right? Because we gave a 10 to the ones place. 16 minus 8. Well, 8 plus 8 is 16. That's a double, so we know that's an 8. 3 minus 1 is a 2. And 2 minus 2 is a 0. Hmm. That's only 28. So 246 minus 105 didn't work. 246 minus 218 didn't work. Let's try 246 minus the 134. It could also be 218 minus 105, couldn't it? Or 218 minus 135. We could even try half to... We might even have to do that, right? So let's try 246 minus 134. 6 minus 4 is a 2. 4 minus 3 is a 1. Oh, look at this. 2 minus 1 is a 1. It is 112. So we know the two numbers are 246 and 134. 246 and 134. So the only way we could figure out which would make the difference of 112 was by doing math on the side and just trying different combinations. Okay, now this one says the sum of 351. So two of these numbers, when added together, because a sum is an answer in addition, isn't it? Two of these numbers added together are going to give us a sum of 351. We have to figure out which ones they are. If we add these two together, will that give us 351? If we add these two together, will that do it? Or will this do it? So we need to try different combinations. Let's try 105 and 246, the first two numbers, okay? So we have 5, because we're adding now 5 plus 6. Well, 5 plus 5 is 10, so 5 plus 6 is 11. We regroup the 1 and put the 1 down. 1 plus 0 plus 4 is 5, and 1 plus 2 is 3. Look at that. We got lucky. The very first two numbers we tried ended up being the right ones. It is 351. So we know the answer is the two numbers that will give us a sum of 351 is 105 and 246. 105 and 246. And the only way to find the answer to this problem was to do guess and check, right? We had to keep trying different combinations until we got the right answers, all right? We don't have to do this one because we already found the answer, all right? Okay, so that was subtracting three-digit numbers. Just remember, you might have to regroup more than once, and it's not harder. It just takes a little longer, that's all. It's just like regrouping one time. So we're going to move on to subtracting some three-digit numbers again in the next video, and we're going to practice what we've learned, okay? We're going to subtract two-digit two and one-digit numbers from three-digit numbers, and we're going to subtract three-digit numbers from three-digit numbers, all right? Okay, I hope I'll see you there. And don't forget to hit the like button if I've helped you, and don't forget that this is a second grade math playlist with lots of videos in order to help you with your math. Okay? Bye.